Welcome to this course on nonlinear finite element analysis of 2D cable and catenary structures using Python. This course focuses on building the understanding and tooling necessary to analyze structures that undergo large deformations when loaded. These large deformations lead to changes in the force distribution within a structure. This is known as geometric nonlinearity and requires a more sophisticated solution strategy. Now in this course we're going to place particular emphasis on cable structures as these are a classic example of the kind of structures that undergo significant changes in geometry under loading which leads to nonlinear structural behavior. Now by the time you finish this course you'll have a really good understanding of geometric nonlinearity. You'll understand why it's an important behavior to capture and when you can and cannot ignore it. You'll also have built for yourself an iterative solver that can tackle this complex structural behavior. I'm Dr. Sean Carroll, I'm a Chartered Engineer, a Senior Lecturer in Structural Engineering and I'm the founder of DegreeTutors.com. I've taught thousands of students how to analyse structural behaviour and how to leverage Python in their day-to-day -day engineering workflows. As engineers, our starting point usually with structural analysis is to assume linear structural behaviour. So in other words, we assume that there's a linear relationship between the loads we apply to a structure and the resulting displacements we observe of that structure. So doubling the load would double the displacements. However, this is not always the case because some structures undergo a stiffening or indeed a softening as more load is applied. Now structures that exhibit this behavior are essentially behaving non-linearly and we can no longer rely on that linear relationship between loads and displacements. Structures that exhibit this behavior are a particular challenge to analyze because the force displacement relationship, the stiffness of the structure essentially, is evolving as more and more load is applied. In this course, we're going to unpack this behavior and build the tools to analyze it. Now, we're going to be using Python in the Jupyter Notebook development environment in this course. And so some familiarity with Python would be a benefit, as would an understanding of the direct stiffness method. So you can pick up both of these prerequisites by completing the suggested prerequisite course on 2D truss analysis. But I'll say more about that in the lecture on prerequisites that you can watch after this lecture. So this course is really equally suited to both students or practicing engineers who have taken my course on 2D trust analysis and want to explore nonlinear behavior in more detail, or those who want to explore the behavior of cable structures in more detail. So if this sounds like something that you'd enjoy working through for the next nine or 10 hours, enroll in the course and I'll see you on the inside.